yes guys jts here hope you guys are well guys i'm not feeling the best today but you know me i always will make sure i get those videos done for you but anyways guys this is a fantastic video today i'm telling you you're gonna love it stay right to the end because i got some ways that you can remove a background for clip art real quick but i got some nuggets within this so stay with me because i got some real real tips so as usual if you love digital products you love creating researching listing and all of that mad mad etsy stuff that please like subscribe smash that navigation bell and don't forget to share because you know what we do in this place. We love that sharing stuff. Anyways, let's get into this madness. So check this out. Look, I created an image using um, my journey, right? So look, there's a few little tips I'm going to give you. Because even before removing the background, you want to make sure that the image is ready, right? Image is ready. And what I mean by image is ready, sometimes you can do yourself a favor and help yourself out by making sure you do most of the work before you even have to, before you even remove the background. Because sometimes it can get real tricky. So what I'm trying to say is, look, when we look at this nice Santa image with the presence, right? That's a cool image, right? That's a not too bad image. But let me go down to these ones. These are Santa on a, rain, a reindeer stroke horse stroke something else. Because boy, they look like a mishmash. Anyway, look, some of these you can tell the background, there's a lot of colors going on. And I can imagine with some of these images, it can be kind of tricky to get to remove some of that background. So what I'm trying to say is sometimes, you know, you want to choose images that are kind of clean anyway. Some of these are not so clean. I mean, the AI remover will, will get rid of the bulk of it. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it won't. So you want to you want to kind of <laughs> you want to do the work yourself. And so what I'm saying is this. There are certain things you can put in your mid-journey prompts that will help you. So things that you could, and you know what, it doesn't always work. But you know, like you know what mid-journey is like. Sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't. But look, you can give yourself a good chance. So for example, things like saying clipper, right? Because it will pick up on the fact that you want it as a clipper. Clipper. Things like saying white background, even though I didn't say on that one, but saying white background does help, right? Contoured white background. These are some words you can add to the prompts that will give it a better chance of being cleaner background, okay? So I hope that helps, these tips, right? White background, remember. Um, also, just make sure that you could add clip art if you're doing clip arts. These kind of things, they do kind of help and make it a bit more crisper, generally. Remember, you get four, they give you four designs after you produce it. And obviously, choose the best one that, that looks the best. Now, look, I did this one and I actually... Now, when you do your images, as usual, as you know, with your clip art, you need to upscale. So when you get your four different images, right? So let's say you've got your four images like this, then you upscale. So you choose one of them where you go U1. And then on top of the U1, you get the option like this, where you can upscale four times or upscale two times. You want to upscale by 4x. Now, if you don't see that option, that means you're on the lower subscription and you need to upgrade. Okay. So that's a little tip for you there. Um, so yeah, once you've done it by 4x, because the 4x is that is upscaled enough for it to be clear and res for your resolution than when you want to sell it. So let's say you want to sell it on an Etsy marketplace. They're going to be expecting at least 4,000 by 4,000 pixels with 300 DPI, because that's the general rule out there, right? That's the general rule. When you look at all those uh, designs, those um, Etsy, uh, sorry, those sellers out there, that's what they all got. They all got that. They all got clip arts. When you look at these, they'll tell you straight away. They'll tell you straight away. This is a 25 PNG 300 DPI, for example. Look at that gnome collection, right? This is 4, 14 by 14, uh, 300 DPI. It's an expectation. So don't be like dropping the quality or else that's where the bad reviews come into play. Anyways, so what you want to do is once you've done that, you want to download it, right? So open it up in browser once you 4 x it. Nice, clear. You know it's good. Save image as, right? Save it in your documents. I'll save that in my documents. Boom. Saved. Right. Now the work begins. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can actually remove that background real quick. Um, and also, I'm going to give you your tips to make sure that um, the quality is good. Now, look at this. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something real quickly, yeah? Real quick. Now, let me go to Canva, right? Now, listen, everything that I do, link is in my description. But even before, before I do that, look, one thing you got to know is that before you do any kind of clip art bundle, 
please, 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 please make sure you do your research, right? Make sure you verify, validate that actually what you're creating actually makes money. So like I said, I always go to my old go-to, ever be the gem finder, the one, free access. Check out the link in the description. Very much a recommended tool. A lot of people use it and it really is fantastic. What I mean by that is you go to something called keyword research. I'm going to be real quick just to make sure that you validated that it actually sells. And then what you need to do is you go, you might say Christmas Santa. Wait, Santa Clipper, right? Santa Clipper, right? Just as, as an idea, right? Um, if that's a Clipper that you want to do. And then you just let it do its thing. And what it's going to do is going to tell you how much search volume there is on Etsy, what's the competition and what the keyword score, right? So keyword score of 30 is okay, but it can be better. So you might want to add uh, words. Like it might be pink Santa, right? Pink Santa Clipper. Then you want to see if the keyword score improves. Look at that. The keyword score jumps. So what I'm trying to say is make sure you do your research before you actually do your clipper. Anyway, let's get into this. So let's say I go to Canva because that's one of the ways we're going to remove the background. So let me go to, uh, let me go to, okay, so let me go to Canva. Let me go home. Let me go to upload, right? So I'm going to upload that design that I just showed you. So I'm going to go straight to upload. It's going to bring it in straight away. Where are we? Where is, where's, the, where's that Santa gone, mate? Oh, there you are. Yeah, click and click open, right? Boom, we're ready to go. It's gonna open up for us because that's what Canva does. And then we can say using a design. Yes, we, yes, yes, we do. 4096 by 4096. We, we already know the size because it's 4X. That's a good size, 4096 by 4096. That's a standard requirement for clip arts, right? So then it opens it up, right? And here we go, this is it, right? It's a, it's a very simple thing. What you can do is first of all, you want to just make sure that uh, you've removed the background because there might be something there. So where you go is edit, go straight to edit, go to BG remover. Let BG remover appear because it's still, I don't know, buffering. It's doing, doing something because it's still uploading because it's a big file, you know. This one, look, when you upscale it by four, it's kind of big. We're talking like 20 megabyte plus. Yeah, what we want to do is we want to remove that background. Let's click BG Remover, which is like the AI remover, just does it straight. And then what we want to do is we might want to go in, in there and maybe do a bit of work. And I'll show you what I mean by do a bit of work. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so look, I'm going to touch on that background because I want to make it, I'm going to turn it into, uh, change the color to black, All right? I'm going to change the color to black. There you go. And then bring it across, okay? Because what I want to do is I just want to see if there's anything that really that needs uh, rubbing out. Now, it's not too bad, to be fair. You know, all those little bits of mistletoe or whatever it is around it is okay. I'm happy with that. There's nothing weird that's around it. But if you did want to go in further and you did find something weird, or you did want to go, you know, do something else, then you just go edit photo. And that's a good thing about this. You just go to edit photo. And you go to BG remover again. And then what we'll do is open up your image. So we go to brush size, make it as big as you like. So look, you know, you can see the brush now on my screen. If I wanted to remove that, let me just go zoom and say, see what I'm doing. Okay, so let's say if I wanted to remove, you can see the brush like anything there. You can see that it will remove it. I mean, for me, I'm just going to show you like how it's done. But I don't need to really do it. See, it's just remove that ball there. And then if I wanted to go back, uh, then it's done it right it's done it so that just gives you just shows you like how you could actually remove further um and then you see it will be gone in a second you see in that remember on that right side it'll be gone that little ball and it would have removed it it's, very, it's a big file so it's taken a little bit of time to just do its thing there you go scott can you see it, it just disappeared boom just disappeared like that mad um yeah so let's say you're happy with it then all you need to do is uh is uh do something right very quickly i'll show you now once it's stopped doing its thing right okay so that's it really i'm gonna go back to make the background um go back to white really um and then i'll show you what i'm gonna do now go back to white um but you know listen when you actually sell clip arts you need to make sure they're transparent so when you go to share if you go share and you go download you need to make sure you check this box which is transparent yeah um and then go download yeah but i'm going to show you something about this because um canva 
as as uh, at the time of doing this video, still doesn't quite, quite, still doesn't quite get that quality right. Now let me tell you something. Look, I'll, I'll give you an example. Now look, when I click on it, this is what it's 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 produced for us, yeah. So I click transparent, so it's given us the transparent image, which which looks pretty nice, right? Looks look, it looks pretty nice. Um, but when we on, on further inspection, right? Further inspection, we uh, go to file info, right? So when you go file info, uh, it's four thousand by four thousand side uh, size, and the thing is with clip arts, the expectation is that they need to be three hundred DPI. So if people buy this file and you're saying it's three hundred, right? then it needs to be 300, even though the quality is pretty good, but still not quite 300 DPI. So, unfortunately, at this point of doing the video, for this kind of thing, Canva doesn't do it, right? But, obviously, it does many other brilliant things, which is what I use it for, for so many. But there is a solution, because I'll show you another software which you can do that. So, what you need to do is, and you can see the link in the description for everything that I use, Everbee, Canva, Kittle, jump onto something called Kittle. Now, Kittle is your is a kind of go-to needed. You're going to need this one as well. Because if you want to start doing 300 DPI and other things, although there's other ways of doing it, Kittle is, is, is absolutely necessary. So what you can do is, let's go back to my original image. This is the image I, I did from Midjourney, right? Nothing to do with Canva right now. I'll take that Midjourney image, the one that I 4X'd, and I go open, right? So now what it's going to do is going to upload it on Kittle. I'm going to show you something with this. The thing about Kittle, it's going to pretty much do what Canva does, but it's going to give you that 300 DPI resolution straight. You don't have to play around. Because, I mean, technically in Canva, there is a way of doing it. So after you've downloaded, you could take it in another software or on a website and make it 300 DPI. Um, but it's a longer process. And I think it's better to do it this way. So look, you got your image uploaded on Kittle, put it on the canvas, right? So this is what I would do. I would stretch it out onto the canvas, right? Stretch it out onto your canvas, right? And that's, that's it. That's done. Remember, uh, then all you need to do is, uh, obviously, you can, you can rub out and stuff like that. You can remove. But so if I click on it, you've got AI background remover. I want to click on the AI background remover just to clear, clean all the background up. Oh man, I got this cold, but you know what? I'm going to get through this. Yes. So check it, right? Now, what we do is we go download. Now, one thing about this is, see look, I'm 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 making sure it's 4096, which is what it is. Remember, when it came out mid-journey 4096, 4096. Now, the good thing about this is the DPI can be adjusted, mate. Right? That's what we needed because it was 96, right? Like this. Uh, sorry. <laughs> 96 like this oh what the hell 96 like this but we can obviously just make it straight 300 boom now you can do that with photoshop 2 and stuff like that but kittle is amazing right and then what we can do is remove the background look remove that background make sure it's got that transparent because look you need to make sure that you when you sell your clip arts they're transparent that's the expectancy for customers now just click png because we want it as a png format and it's gonna download it, mate, and you're gonna see it. Anyways, let's see what it's done for this. Has it done what we said? Right, here's a design. This is it. It says number two. Now you can see 4096 by 4096. Uh, let's just very quickly check it out, though. Wait, let's double check. Is that the right one? Yeah, I think it is, but let's just verify with the file info. Is it? Is it 300 DPI, though? No! Wait, which one is that? Did it not download? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my God, I got it wrong. Here we go. Here we go. This is it, right? This is it. So look, it did the same job as, as Canva did. Clean up the background, lovely. But look at the file info, though. It's a 300 DPI, man. That's what we need. Because we know that sometimes customers are going to be looking and checking. And they got every right. You know, we want to make sure we give them what we said. That's it. That's how you do it, guys. Those are two ways of removing backgrounds real quick from mid-journey into Kittle and Canva. And there you go, guys.
Remember, make sure you verify, validate that yours is actually profitable using Everbee, which is in my description. And if you like the video, please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. Don't forget to check out my bulk removal of clip parts. Check it out, mate. Take care.